this money, Lord. Have mercy upon us, O God. Have mercy upon us, O God. Wash us, wash us this money, Lord. Wash our hearts this money, Lord. Consecrate our hearts this money, Lord. I give you all the praise of God. As we are before his presence, we are here to hear his word. We are telling God that God have your way this morning. Tell God that every word that you need this morning, God should use the man of God to speak to you this morning. Lift up your voice and lift this morning service into the hands of the Lord. Let's pray that his presence will be so strong this morning. Lift up your voice and pray, O oh God. Holy Ghost, have your way this morning, Lord. Father, Lord, we have our Build our hearts, O oh God, to receive your word this morning. We have opened up our spirit, O oh God, to receive your word this morning, Lord. That the Lord, this morning we pray, speak to us, O oh God. Jehovah, Lord, speak to us, O oh God. Let your praises, O oh God, be so strong this morning, Lord. That we'll never leave you being the same, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, O oh God. Holy Ghost, have your way this morning, Lord. Holy Ghost, have your way this morning, Lord. Holy Ghost, have your way this morning, Lord. Let your presence be so strong this morning, Lord. Let your presence be so strong this morning, Lord. Father, Lord, cause us not to be distracted, O oh God. Cause us to be focused to your word this morning, Lord. In the name of Jesus, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, O oh God. Have your way this morning, Lord. 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 Take over this morning service, O oh God. The way you want it to go or be, oh God, let it be it, Lord Jesus. Have your way, Holy Spirit, oh God. 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 Have your way, Holy Ghost. Have your way this morning, Lord. Holy Ghost, have your way this morning, Lord. Holy Ghost, have your way this morning, Lord. Holy Ghost, have your way this morning, Lord. Let your presence be so strong this morning, Lord. Let your presence be so strong this morning, Lord. Let your presence be so strong this morning, Lord. Holy Ghost, have your way this morning, Lord. Holy Ghost, have your way this morning, Lord. Holy Ghost, take over, take over, Lord. We cannot do without you, O oh God. This morning service cannot go on without you, O oh God. Holy Ghost, have your way, O oh God. Holy Ghost, have your way this morning, Lord. 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 Let your presence be so strong this morning, Lord. Let your presence be so strong this morning, Lord. Let your presence be so strong this morning, Lord. Let your presence be so strong this morning, Lord. We give you all the praise. We give you all the adoration. Somebody lift up your voice as we come before him with our worship, O oh God. Lift up your voice and let's worship you, Lord. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. 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 We give you glory, Lord. As we honor you, we give you all the glory. We give you glory, Lord. As we honor you, you are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You the glory we give you glory lord we give you all the glory as we are oh yeah you are wonderful. oh yes lord this morning you are wonderful Yes, you are. 
thanksgiving to God. It is our moment of gratitude with one accord. We bring it before you. We show you our appreciation. We say thank you for everything. We say thank you for everything. We say thank you for everything. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your presence. In the name of Jesus. Now pray, tell the Lord, the Lord, I am all yours. Empty myself. I empty myself of myself. Say, I empty myself. Of myself, of myself, pour your totality into me. into me, whatever I need, whatever I need for the rest of my life, of my pour, life. It pour it into by me by the power of your word, by the power, by of, the your power of your word, in the, in the name of Jesus, lift your voice Jesus and pray Lord, right now. Empty yourself we of strongholds till that repel the word of God. As the word of God comes, it fights it. As the word of God comes, it repels it. They might not go come and pray right now. Not my will, but your will be done this morning. In the name of Jesus, rule and reign. Yahweh, we come before you. 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 In the name of Jesus, Rando Sabrata, I receive the dome of your power, of your grace to God. In the rest of my season, ahead of me, I resign, I refuse to be the same. In the name of Jesus, Lado Sabrata, I submit myself for God unto your chain process, unto your transition. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we honor you. We glorify you for your goodness and your power. We honor you, the Lord, by your power. You have given us the priceless privilege to live. We come under your tutelage. We come under the power of your word, your creative word. Your word that has the power to transform us. I present myself as your servant. And Lord, through the power of your word, help me serve your people. Help me serve your people in person and live streaming. In the name of Jesus Christ, heal your people, deliver your people, change your people for our own good and for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Shall we be seated in the presence of the Lord? Hallelujah. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord for his goodness. And uh, um, it's also awesome seeing one of our pillars from Quebec here. Hallelujah. I love you. You should have preached today. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for his goodness and uh, we bless his name for life and this opportunity and myself the opportunity to come and serve you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If the Lord has not done it, somebody wrote on his status, he says, if the Lord has not done it, then the best thing you have to do is to behave like the waiter said. Come on, how many are expecting some miracle here? You're expecting some miracle here? Yeah, then tell your neighbor, serve. Hallelujah, serve your children, serve God, serve everyone around you. Hallelujah, that is the fastest way to get to the top. Amen. And so we've been dealing with the price, the process, and the promise. Somebody say the price. Say the process and the promise. Hallelujah. Amen. And we've been going through, you know, several phases of, of, of paying the price, the promise, and so on. Last week, I shared with us the promise of becoming. The promise of becoming. The, prom, uh, uh, the process of becoming, sorry. The process of becoming. The process of becoming. The process of becoming. Amen. Amen. And then on Thursday, I shared on um, beholding to become. Beholding to become. How you can set your gaze on the Lord and then you evolve, you metamorphose to become what God wants you to be. Hallelujah. Amen. And we see that in the in the in our course scripture, Second Kings chapter number two. From verse Second uh, um, uh, Kings chapter two, verse number one to fifteen, we see Elijah, Elisha walk. Hallelujah! And we see the various processes, stages that they went through. Amen. From Gilgal to Bethel to Jericho to Jordan, across the Jordan, and then he. 
doing his return journey. Elijah doing his return journey. And one of the things that was said around the verse number 14 is that if you have asked for a heart, but if you see me go, if you see me go, then you will have whatever you have asked. And so that is where we drew from on Thursday that you need to see. You need to see to become seeing through the power of the word of God. And this morning we have uh, an August opportunity to you know, receive, assimilate the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So against the same backdrop of this um, chapter of uh, uh, scripture, Second Kings chapter 2 verse number um, 1 to 15, we want to do the same. And then I want to read, you know, uh, from Hebrews chapter number 12. Hebrews chapter 12 in addition Hebrews chapter 12 and verse number 1 and 2. Hebrews 12, 1 and 2. Are we in the house? It says, wherefore, seeing. Tell your neighbor you need to see. Mm, what you see is what you become. Hallelujah. Wherefore, seeing also we, we says, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside let us lay aside tell you neighbor lay aside mm, still in the trot trot and carrying the stuffs tell you neighbor stay lay aside lay aside something so he says that let us lay aside every weight and sin which do so easily beset us inhibit us prevent us Lay aside every weight and sin which do so easily beset us and let us, let us, let us run with patience. And the version says perseverance and it's very important for where we are going. You can highlight it, underline it on your device or wherever your note. And let us run with patience the race, the race that is set before us the race that is set before us, how? Looking unto Jesus, you need to behold him in order to become. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, how? Despising the shame, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so I continue, maybe you can call it, um, you know, the process of becoming to the process of becoming. We want to look at specifically in this journey, the attitude of patience and perseverance through the process. Patience and perseverance through the process. The process of becoming patience and perseverance through the process. So just from the import of the scripture that I just read, we realize that they run the red with perseverance, run the red with patience. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Permit me to open up, you know, um, uh, today's um, message with the story of a burdened butterfly, a burdened butterfly, a burdened butterfly, you know, that was going through the process, that was going through the process to come into the place of emergence. Most of the time we love to show up, but we don't want to do what will cause us show up. Or we abort the process of making us show up. And so in this story of the you know, butterfly going through the complete uh, process of emergence, we see that you know, most of the time, let me just even say this, most of the time you know, as they, they lay their eggs, uh, they go through their pupa stage or whatever, imago, they, they metamorphose, they get into a cocoon before the cocoon breaks up for the beautiful butterfly to come up. Most especially when they are the caterpillar state, they are divorced. They can devour a whole farm. They will eat up your, your lettuce for you. They will eat up your cabbage for you. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is what they are. So they are storing food for their next level. They are known as supermodels in the realm of insects. Supermodels. 
because you know they come out with conspicuous you know uh, wings and many people are even caught up in in the beauty of the butterfly so much that they do collections of butterfly if you visit some great people you realize that they have you know a whole a diary of them and then some of them have put them in some nice cages and they have framed it like a master art piece they enjoy looking at their beautiful so they are known as the you know super models of insects or in the insect world and then they fly around flowers as if they are part of the flowers the flowers show their conspicuous petals and whilst they also say that you can't match me look at my wings you can't match me i just emerge somebody's about to emerge i said somebody's about to emerge but a lot of process is there for them to go through before they show up and there are several things in scripture that God sometimes likens us to, you know, some particular animals, like, like the lion. The righteous is as bold as the lion. Those who wait on the Lord, they renew their strength like that of the eagle. So one day a man went to the uh, you know, forest area and was witnessing several butterflies and several animals around him. And whilst looking, he chanced on seeing, you know, a cocoon that was out there and a little butterfly trying to come out of the cocoon. And so whilst witnessing that, it amazed him and stood there for a while watching what will happen, how God has made nature to evolve. And so he was watching, said, wow, today I have a, a, you know, a grandiose opportunity to look at this thing. I want to see how they will emerge. And stayed there for about 30 minutes. The butterfly was still hugged in, in the cocoon, couldn't come out. The man watched and man watched and then had some pity for the butterfly and decided I'm going to help this butterfly. Why should it waste time? Why should it waste time? If it were to be our day and age, some of us will not be quiet in the cocoon, but we'll be crying as well. Oh, you pump, bro. Somebody help, help, help should come. Hallelujah. You'll be quoting all the scriptures. But I'm sure that the man looked at the butterfly and said, oh, I want to help it. So it went closer to it and tried to break the little hole that has been made out of the cocoon that, you know, the head was sticking out. Tried to break it. He said, oh, let me help you. So tore a part of the cocoon for the butterfly to come out. And the butterfly came out. When it came out, it was watching it say that now nah, today I will be the first person to see you fly. The man stood there all night. The butterfly didn't fly. Why? Because nature has designed it that when it is coming out of the cocoon, it doesn't need a big hole but a small hole. The small hole is intended to squeeze out the excess fluid that is in the butterfly's body, specifically in the wings. The butterfly from that time could not fly as God has made it to be, as God has destined it to be, but it crawled the rest of its life. Even though it was made for the air, even though it was made to hop from one flower to the other, it had to stay down and see other compatriots fly from one flower to the other. What is the moral out of this one? That we need to go through what we need to go through in order to become what God has destined us to be. If you are to be in our today's language, you would just say that, oh my God, I sense there is a dream in me, but I'm nowhere near the dream. I realize that I have the mind to study. There is a PhD in me, but I'm nowhere near the PhD. I sense that I can become this. I believe I can fly, but flying has eluded me. But I pray that we will go through the process. Tell seven people, go through the process, go through the process. Hallelujah. Amen. In reading, you know, uh, Proverbs chapter number 20 and verse number 30. Proverbs 20 and verse number 30. From the amplifier, it says, uh, Blows that wounds, <laughs> cleans away evil, and strokes for correction, reach to the innermost part. Say, Pastor, are you, are you, are you, are you, are you, are you quoting from the Bible? Yes, this is not a boxing match. This is a Bible verse. Blows. There are some things 
you bind and they still come at you. You try to, you know, you know, cast out and they still come at you. There are some unbindables in life. Come what may, you will go through. Life is not about what you escape, but what you go through. I pray that whatsoever God has allowed that we should go through in life, some of them are bitter, some of them are hard, some of them you wish it would never happen to you, but come what may, all of us go through something. An old songwriter I love to play in his LP. He sang that many rivers to cross. Many rivers to cross. Ask your neighbor, which of the rivers are you crossing now? Is it a river of disappointment? Is it a river of disillusionment? Is it a river of despair? Is it a river of defeat? Is it a river of confusion? Is it a river of no a lo loneliness? There is always something that God allows all of us to go through. But the joy is seen in scripture as the Bible stipulates that he says that God will not allow any temptation that is greater than you to come to you. But with the same self temptation as the first Corinthians 10, 13, there about, he says he will provide a, a way of escape. Tell your neighbor, go through the process. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, go all out. Hallelujah. Many a times we want to abort the whole process. Many a time we want to short circuit the whole thing. Many a time we want to say that no, enough is enough. Let me just find something to cool off. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We saw in this text that we read that, you know, um, the, 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 the writer or the author of Hebrews and says, Paul, well, fine, it sounds like him. He had written that he says that brethren, since we are surrounded by so great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and sin that do easily beset us and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us. We run with patience the race that is set before us. This is you no know, appendage in or tying up to what was in chapter 11. What is in chapter 11? Chapter 11 begins by saying now faith is the substance of things hope for and the evidence of things not seen verse number two of saying we realize that you know it says that for by it the elders obtain a good report and I sense in the realm of the spirit somebody's report is about to be read somewhere hallelujah whose report do we believe we shall believe the report of the Lord your life is a whole book a whole epistle written and one day your children's children will read it run the generations on board will read it and above all when it all is said and done on this planet earth the books will be opened up there that is why Paul had to write in Hebrews chapter 12 and saying that listen looking unto Jesus the author he is the author authors write books right may the author help you he's the author and the finisher of your faith there is a story you are writing tell three people there is a story I'm writing writing Mm. tell your neighbor there is a story I'm writing tell your neighbor your whole life is a story it's a process people might not like you for some season but the same people at another season will come and bow and say wow you are genius suffer it to be so now hallelujah Hallelujah. And so we see the word raised there before I get to some deeper. I just want to let us know that even though winning a race is pleasurable, running the race itself is painful. Winning the race is pleasurable. Ah, I've got the medal. What did you get? Gold medal? What did you get? Bronze, silver? Oh, I should have had the silver, but they gave me bronze. I should have had the gold, but they gave me... Winning the race, everybody begins to cheer you up. But running the race itself, it's a Herculean task. Somebody said the other day, champions are not made in the ring. But champions are made outside the ring running around running six kilometers every day making sure that your cardio is right making sure that you have some aerobics you have some other weight conditioning you come into that place where it is sweat tears and 
said in no dedication hallelujah whilst others are sleeping you keep on pushing everybody wants to involve themselves in your glory but nobody wants to hear your story how you got there how you became that oh I wish I were like you I want to drive what you drive. I want to wear what you wear. I want to do the pony you have done. But they don't know that a lot of inku cream has gone under there. Tell me, Pastor Preach. I'm coming there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody who arrives suddenly will fall suddenly. But anybody who begins step by step, little by little, steady steps, steadily, when you keep on steadily going through, today they are looking for you on the stage, but you are not there, but you are training, you are grinding, you are going through some time, everybody has deserted you, but you must pass the exams anyway, anyhow. People, friends and loved ones can be found, but you must go through the deal anyway, anyhow anyhow even though the money is small but you must pay the bill anyway anyhow you cry sometimes you want to smile but tears begin to come where are you where are you wave at me wave at me where are you oh you haven't been there i've been there several times i thought i was smiling but i saw the tears Anybody you see that has become big at once, get ready, it's a bloating. The person is about to blast. The Bible says in Zechariah chapter number 4 and verse number 10, who has despite days of small beginnings steadily process going through one day at a time, taking it one day at a time will let you have a sudden miracle. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. They say something like a compound effect. There's little changes, you know, a little tense, you know, over time, you know, get into or culminate into an exponential result or gives you an exponential result. You want to see that big result, that wonderful thing. Hey, I'm a star, I'm a celebrity. No grind your way to that place and that's where I say that the place, you know, the road to the palace goes through the servants' quarters. May the Lord God help you. This is also supposed to encourage those of you who are still going. How many are still going through? Come on, you are going through. Where are you? You are the true people. Oh my God, I came to preach to. Keep on keeping on. I said keep on keeping on. Hallelujah. And so when we say the process, let me just instruct us a bit. The process is a series of action, steps, taking in order to achieve a particular end. A series of us, you know, action, steps, taking. So that could it be that, you know, you don't want to forgive, it's difficult, but you try to forgive. You don't want to let go, but some way, somehow, you let go. See, letting go sometimes looks like as if you are a loser. And nobody wants to feel like a loser. Everybody wants to win. Winner, hey, winner. Sounds nice. But running the race is very painful. Tell your neighbor, pastor is speaking to you. So I've said, you know, in you know, some, some past few days, I said, uh, a week, I said on us, you know, what the process, the process involves, you know, operations, actions, activity, exercising, you know, and so on. You go through procedure, techniques, and so on, so that you get to that place where God wants you to get to. And for you to become or lay hold on the promise, as the choir was singing, they will manifest and so on. Yes, it's true. The whole creation waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Say, I will become. Say, I will become. Hallelujah. But it doesn't come on a silver platter. You need to come to that place where you will will the right attitude. You need the right attitude. You need to have consistent hunger. Somebody say consistent hunger. Somebody say consistent hunger. You must be hungry for that thing. Hallelujah. How hungry are you for the double portion? How hungry are you for your best version of your life? How hungry are you for that 
business you want to start how hungry are you for that ministry how hungry are you for what God wants to do with you David says as the deer pants after the waters brook so my heart pants after thee in Jesus' sermon on the mount called the be attitude the beer attitude in Matthew chapter number 5 I think the verse number 7 it talks about the fact it says that uh, you know blessed are those who hunger and test okay this one is okay the one of the just uh, is a uh, uh, whatever have you found it for me just, yeah six blessed are they which do hunger and thirst and so how hungry are you for the business how hungry are you for the contract? This is what will wake you up every morning when your body doesn't want to pull itself from the bed. Oh my God, some anointing of Soruka Ejima will prick you. And by the time you realize you are born up on your feet and you are going, somebody will see you and say, ah, didn't you say you were having fever? But you realize that you have to drag the fever into that place. Hallelujah. I pray that your hunger will be sustained. Some of you, somebody wants to quench your hunger. Somebody wants to quench your thirst. Somebody wants to, you, know, you to draw back. Somebody wants, you see, if you are not hungry, no matter how sumptuous the meal is, you will never eat. At best, you will put your hand in it. Do see, see, see. Many, 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 many. You will put your hand in there and then spoil the food. But God has set the dainty for your destiny. I said, God has set the dainty for you. Lift up your right hand and say, Lord Jesus, create in me the hunger, the passion for your purpose for my life. Create in me that testing for your presence. I'm desperate for you. I'm desperate for your power. I'm desperate for your preservation. I'm desperate for my manifestation. I can't breathe without you. I lift up my hand. Lift your voice and pray. Brother, pray. Sister, pray. Come before the Lord. Come before the Lord. Talk to God. Rado sotoro kabaya potera baya yabatora ba zebra daria. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. So once upon a time, Thomas Jefferson said this. He said that nothing can stop the man with the right mental attitude from achieving his goal. Nothing can stop the woman. Nothing can stop the man with the right mental attitude from achieving his goal. And nothing on earth can help the man with the wrong mental attitude. That is why very soon we are going to look at the word patience and perseverance in the detail. We need these graces. We need this virtue. These are positive emotions of the Holy Spirit. The Bible talks about in Galatians chapter 5 and verse 22, there about, hallelujah, patience is one of the virtues that God wants us to carry along. Hallelujah, your faith alone is not enough. We need to add patience. We need to persevere through the process. Tell three people, persevere through the process. Hallelujah. Amen. Another man said that uh, no, attitude isn't everything, but it is one thing that can make a difference in your life. And so then we must come therefore to that place where we will say that I will not just be reactive towards the things that happened to me, but I will be responsive towards the things that happened to me. Reacting towards issues, you might not think through it. You will just use your flight and fight mind to just decide. No, then I, he said this to me. Me too, I said this insult. Insult. Insult, insult. You want how many have been pushed the wall? You wanted to react. Or you reacted this morning. Just this. With the boat driver. With the Uber driver. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to come to that place. When you have the right mental attitude, it makes you, even when you are being put down, not that you don't have a mouth to talk, but God's spirit keeps you under. Self-control begins to work. When self-control begins to work, that doesn't mean you cannot make a sin.
scene but at that moment God doesn't want you to make a scene God wants you to put your body under God wants you to be patient and say that uh, keep on going looking unto Jesus run the race with perseverance the race of the family the race of your fortune the race of your finance run the race with perseverance looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. And so then we realize that our greatest enemy or the inhibitors to God's promises is our wrong attitude towards the process. The inhibitors to we inhabiting the promises of God is our wrong attitude. May our attitude be right. I said may our attitude be right. Philippians chapter number 2 and verse number 5 says that let this attitude be in you that is in Christ Jesus. I pray that this will be your portion in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Many a time what you think that it is a mismatch and a misnomer is God's supernatural setup, orchestrations and methods that he uses to make us. Our maker has a way of going said some of the things. How many are here that you went through something bad but the end was great? You, I said you went through something bad but the end was great. It could have even been losing a, a very dear one but through that you met somebody and everything around your life changed. Do I have some two people like that? Somebody was sad out of a job but not knowing that it was the beginning of his own company. I'm preaching to somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a way. There are some things that if God you know, intentionally allows them, like the Job scenario, God has had a discussion with the devil and he said that you can try Job. And then the enemy goes at Job. But could it be that God has had a conversation about you? Somewhere God is proud about you. And so he has allowed some things to come in your life. If God did not allow it, it could never have happened to you. He said, Pastor, the robbery too, yes. If God had not allowed it, it would never have happened to you. If it happened, tell your neighbor, if it happened, then do something better with the happening. Yeah. Charles Twindle said, he said that life is about 10% of the things that happen to us. And 90% of what we do with what happens to you. What do you do? Ah, they threw some lemon at me. Oh yeah, where are the caterers? Can you make a lemonade out of it? They were throwing some stones at me. Oh, is that so? Hallelujah. Can you build with those stones? Oh, they were throwing some sand at you. You tell them that I am a seed. Somebody say, I'm a seed. If you are throwing some sand at me, then you are helping me to be planted. And if I plant, I will thrive. I will come out in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, I am the word. The promises of God, they are yea and they are amen. And so God has wired this world around seasons, times and seasons. Somebody say times and seasons. Says that as the earth remains, there will be seed time, there will be harvest time. And so these things happen. And when they do happen, what happens is that God turns them around and then makes you evoke Romans chapter number 8 verse 28 that all things work together for good to them that love God and who are called unto his purpose. Something is about to work for you. I said something is about to work for you. If you can only wait, hallelujah. Why? Because he who has called you is faithful and he also will do it. First Thessalonians 5.24 Tell your neighbor something good is about to happen in my life. And tell your neighbor something good is about to happen in your life as well. And so somebody shout perseverance. Somebody shout patience. Somebody shout perseverance. And say patience. And so now he's saying that we should run the race. Do I just have to run? But Paul said don't just 
run, run to obtain. In other words, you must run with skill. You must run according to the operational flow that God has said. There is a way that seemed right unto man, but the end thereof is the way of the. I remember in the secondary school day when we had to have some marathon and we were all shown the route where the marathon will go. Not knowing that two days before the marathon, some of the boys have gone to find some shortcut. And so they said that on your mask, they said go. And then they started the marathon. And they were expecting the people to come after two hours. It wasn't about 40 minutes. One of the bad boys, he, he not knowing he had some water with him, he had put the water on him as if he's sweating. He showed up. Hey, I remember his face. He showed up. Because they have said they will give this one that they will give that one. He showed up. Hey, and so we were all surprised. Ah, but where is the guy who always, you know, wins this one? There was a guy from Burkina Faso who was part of our, our, our and then he, you know, he had that kind of, you know, resilience for marathon. So we were expecting that he would win the race. But this bad boy showed up. Wanted to receive the prize. It wasn't long, not knowing they have, they, have, they have said that when he arrives then, in 10 minutes time, another one, two. They were four guys. So 10 minutes, 10 minutes in Teba. So, our sports master said, you stand aside. <laughs> Let's pray for a while. People started clapping for, they received the clap. They were enjoying the claps more, but they said they should stand aside. After two hours, this Burkina Faso guy showed up. You could see that he had gone through the process. You could see that he was even struggling to finish. And all the others who were supposed to come. And whilst they were showing up, the other guys were there. We are beating you today. You think you always receive the prize. They are there with bad boys. Bad girls. So when the leader came said that I saw them, they were behind me. I saw them, they passed through another place. They didn't only miss the prize, they were punished as well. Hallelujah. Somebody say patience. Somebody say patience. The devil is a liar. I will wait till my change come. If a man dies, will he live again? But all the days of my appointed time, will I wait till my change come? When we talk about the word patience, it's hope money. Hope money. Or from hope mono. Now, when we say that, it means to stay under. Tell your neighbor, stay under. Tell your neighbor, stay under. Now, when we say hope money, it doesn't mean stay on top. Stay under. Tell your neighbor, stay under. Hallelujah. So God is saying that as you go through the process of life, it could be your marriage, it could be whatsoever. Tell your neighbor, stay under. Hallelujah. Amen. My dear, you have missed it. There is another one there that you need to pick up. Hallelujah. So, you know, to stay under, it also means to stay behind. To stay behind or stay under or behind. It means to remain. It means to undergo. It means to undergo. It means to undergo. It means to bear, to bear trials, to bear trials. It means to have fortitude. It means to have fortitude. It is also perseverance to continue in a course of action, even in the face of difficulty or with little or no indication of success. I love this one. To continue in a course. Tell your neighbor, continue in the course. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Say, I will finish. Hallelujah. It means continue in a course of action, even in the face of difficulty. Or with little or no indication of success. One of the most painful things in life is when you are doing something, but you are not seeing the result. Like the Chinese bamboo analogy, the day I read that one, that it takes how many years to, to send it, five years to send its root down. 
Then it begins to shoot up after five years. I said, no, I don't have the patience. Some of you are here and then even at the stove at your kitchen, you don't have patience for cooking. Once the food is on the fire, where are you? Own up. Lift your hand. You, <laughs> once the food is on the fire no, you, you have done it before oh I want who has done it before oh come on now let's know there are real human beings here who has done it before oh all the beautiful ones clap for yourself <laughs> we have no patience no you are doing something you are going to a school and you realize that A is difficult going through some of the lecturers and the way they behave the assignment. Hey, you have to submit. The deadline is 12 midnight. <laughs> 12 midnight. Hey, how do we do that? And so when we say that, it also means that you must abide. You must have the staying power. You must endure. Endurance precedes enjoyment. Endurance precedes enjoyment. When you see anybody who is enjoying who has never endured, it's just a matter of time. Everything will turn upside down. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes it presupposes that you suffer. You go through some kind of suffering. You tarry. But you see, when the suffering doesn't kill you, then you can only get better. I said, if that thing didn't kill you, then your emergence is about to come. Hallelujah. Like that butterfly. Keep on keeping on. Hallelujah. Like that little butterfly. Don't wait for anybody's help. Keep on pressing. Keep on pushing. I'm pressing on the upward way. New hide I'm king. Name every day. Every day. It's not at once. Still praying. I'm always bound. Lord, plant my feet. Lord, plant my feet. On high. I see somebody about to win the prize. I'm pressing on. I see you about to conquer. Sometimes something. That is trying to push you down. That devil is a liar. I'm coming out. I will come out. You will see my conspicuous way. I'm over bound. Lord, plant my feet on higher Hope of money is not. It's not easy. Uh, it's not easy. It is not easy to be under pressure. It's not easy to wait. Uh, it could be a marital beating. It is not easy. It could be a child's issue. It could be a sickness issue. It could be an academic issue. There were some of my mates uh, who were struggling at our own level level at those times, and they were they were good. But so those days where you you can have one 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 and nine in. And, 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 and they were good. You, we thought that oh, they would come up, but some nine showed up. Some people used to call it the old man's walking stick. Hey, showed up, but they persevered. They wrote first, first, first world war, second world war, third world war. But today, many of them are professors. Hallelujah. The last time I was chatting with some one of them, so he's a professor somewhere. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, keep on keeping on. The devil is a liar. Your best is coming. Keep on pressing on. Tell your neighbor, keep on pressing on. Hallelujah. Amen. One of the difficult things in life is to wait. Even waiting in Ghana is not as difficult as waiting abroad for a bus during winter. Waiting for a bus. I said waiting for a bus and it's winter. Or when you just got there, the bus passed. One of my friends in France said the other day, I said, oh, where are you going? I said, I was going to the UK. He said, yeah, this is the place where old women are able to outrun young men going for bus. Hallelujah. 
It's not easy. But something will be better out of your patience. Your patience will not be in vain. I prophesy to you, your labor of love will be rewarded. Uh, where are you? Where are, I said your labor of love will be rewarded. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And so when you get to that place, there is another word called constancy. Constancy. Having the staying power. Constancy. You started the business on the tabletop. How do you get the clientele base before you open that shop? It's on the tabletop. You must stay there. It might be sunny, but stay there. It might be rainy, but stay there. Let the people go to work and come and meet you. You are there. Somebody say constancy. Hallelujah. Some of us, when they come, the angels don't find us. When they come, you are nowhere to be found. May you be found. I said, may you be found. Hallelujah. May you receive constancy. Not only that, you come in enduring. You have patience, patience, continuance. Waiting spirit. Job 14, 14. I will not waste my life. Hallelujah. By just seeking the big. But I will continue in the little. Precept upon precept. Little by little. Poco a poco. Hallelujah. I will make strides in a wide open face. In the name of Jesus Christ. May this be your portion. Hallelujah. Staying in the power of the Holy Ghost. When we say hope of money, hope of means under. And then money is from menu. It means to remain. So remain under. Tell your neighbor, remain under. The disciples wanted to go out and evangelize. Jesus said, no, 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 no. Wait for the promise of the Father. And they waited in the upper room. The Bible says in Acts chapter 2, verse number 3, when the Holy Ghost came, he sat on them. Say, Holy Spirit, sit on me. We need to come under the Holy Ghost. Some of us are jumping on top of the Holy Ghost. Anytime you operate by the works of the flesh, you are trying to be above the Holy Ghost. And that is the, 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 the negative emotion of pride. the spirit of grace. The Holy Ghost sat upon them. Hallelujah. And when the Holy Ghost sit on you, you are under his tutelage. You are under his direction. Those who are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. All the ways of a man are okay in his eyes. But the Lord weighs all the spirit. I pray that in the name of Jesus, God will help us. Hallelujah. In 1 Corinthians chapter number 9 and verse number 24, Paul comes out to say, he says that in a race, many run. Know ye not that they which run in the race, run all, but one receiveth the pride. So run that ye may obtain. Tell your neighbor, don't just run, but run that you will obtain. Don't be like those bad boys who cut short the marathon you know, um, uh, flow. Hallelujah. Verse number 27 of same. Verse 27, verse 27. Verse 27, but what I do is that I keep under my body. He didn't say I keep on top. Tell you must be on top of your game. That is the, the, the present uh, the colloquial. Uh, hey, Charlie, you must be on top, Charlie. You must be on top of the subject. Hey, Charlie, you must be on top. I believe that God has said we should be the head and never the tail. But before you get on top, you should have been under. I said you should have been under. Hallelujah. Tell you never stay under the power of the Lord. So he says that I keep my body under. Other verses says that I buffet my body. I beat it. I discipline it. And bring it into subjection. He used Hoputa. So you know that the Bible says that submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. God wants to lead your life. Tell your neighbor God wants to lead your life. 
God wants to lead you in all the ways. Hallelujah. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. God wants to lead you by the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Where you are going, God has already seen that place. It's a matter of fact, before he began your life, he had ended it. And so the author of your life and the finisher of your life knows your end game, knows your end story. Why don't you humble yourself under the hand of the Lord so that in due time, he will lift you up. Hallelujah. I pray that you will persevere. Young lady, persevere. Young man, persevere. Keep on keeping on. Persevere in prayer. I know that they are after you, but keep on keeping on. Hallelujah. Don't abort the process. Your name might be Elijah. Keep on. Go through from Gilgal. You might experience circumcision, but go to Bethel. You might experience a vision, but go through from Bethel to Jericho. You might have the aroma of Christ. Don't stop at Jericho. Push to the Jordan. You may have to descend. You may have to become the lesser so that the better will bless you. Tell your neighbor, keep on going. The devil is a liar. I'm rebuking any spirit that wants anybody to give up. Any giving up spirit, this is the sentence to you. All those under the sound of my voice, none of them is not going to give. I declare no pastor is giving up. No mother is giving up. No student is giving up. They will not give up on God. They will not give up on themselves. They will not give up on their children. In the name of Jesus, Christ. We have seen your strategy. You are throwing the spirit of discouragement into the heavenlies and you are making the people breathe in because you are the prince of the power of the air. But this is the sentence of God to you. No one will give up. The people of God, they will not throw in the towel. They will keep on. Where are you? Do I have two people here? Rise up on your feet and say, I will not give up. The devil is a liar. I will go through the process. I will pay the price. I will lay hold on the, on the, on the promise. What God has said about your life will come to pass. Every city began with a couple. Hallelujah. And the couple get better. And it became some small community. And that community evolved to become a village. And that village evolved to become a city. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ little drops of water makes a mighty ocean and I declare your mighty ocean your double portion is about to show forth the devil is a liar shout I will not give up I know you went to preach last night to somebody watching but listen you are giving up on yourself it's one thing the anointing blessing others and another thing when the anointing has to bless you Sometimes yes. Sometimes yeah, you, you are healing others, but you yourself you have migraine. But tell your neighbor, don't give up. The devil is a liar. One of the greatest things that satisfy the devil is when you yourself say, I won't go again. I won't pray again. I won't fellowship again. I won't worship again. I won't tithe again. I won't give again. I won't forgive again. I won't love again. Like I met a woman I was ministering to, and then, and then there was a lot has happened. I said, Pastor, Pastor, all men are the same. They have the same mother. I said, Me too. I said, Oh, but Pastor. <laughs> and she laughed at all. I said, God will give you another opportunity, Pastor. His answer the same. Hey, hallelujah, hallelujah. But the fact that that water drowned your child doesn't mean you should stop drinking water. There is a miracle out there for you. There is a bliss out there for you. All that I ask of you this morning is that you will come to that place that you will say with David in Psalm 40 that I waited patiently on the Lord and he took me out of a miry clay or a miry clay or whatever and he set my feet on the rock to stay. I pray that this will be your portion. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will shake off the dust. Shake off the dust. Shake off the dust.
powers of despair. Shake it off and keep on keeping on. The false prophets will come. They will say the Lord will take your master away. But tell them I know it. Hold your peace. The detractors and distractors will come. They could be your best friends. They could come. They could be family people. And man's enemies shall be members of their own household. But be on the lookout. Tell four people be on the lookout. Once they are telling you, they are telling you to let go, they are, they are hiding. The moment you let go, they will come and take. The most dangerous of such people are those people who find themselves in churches and they drive other people out and they stay. I pray that the power of God, lift up your hand wherever you are. Begin to talk to God right now. Say, Lord Jesus, give me the right mental attitude. The attitude of patience, the attitude of perseverance, the staying power, staying until I win. In the name of Jesus, let me be steady so that I can produce a sudden miracle. Help me to wait so that I can produce my winning. I come before you. Anoint me for this against all odds. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray right now. Pray right now. Come before the Lord for service. Come before the Lord. Talk to God right now. In the name of Jesus, talk to Yahweh. Talk to the King of Kings. In the name of Jesus, the process of becoming, the attitude of patience and perseverance needed for the process I come in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I know that after he had tried me I will come forth as gold in the name of Jesus oh help me Jehovah oh help me God let your power let your mind be my portion be my guide be my strength be my helper in the name of jesus looking unto jesus the author and the finisher of my faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross in that so kabarabataya imabo shebra takaya hebre do karabo darabaya hebabo zabrataya in the name of jesus say lord jesus my eyes is on you you are the promise my eyes is on you as i look up to you i know you will help me to finish the race help me to go through the process and let me become my highest and best i declare this done help me go through the process some of you as you are saying this you might be stuck but say lord jesus help me go through the process now take a step from where you are just take a step take a step from where you are say lord jesus help me go through the process to become my highest and best lift your voice and pray first service lift your voice come before him come on come before him Come on, come before the King of Kings. Come before the Lord of Lords. Come before the King of Kings. Rando Sebra Kondeya. Rabo Bosaka Badaya. Serabo Zerabaya. Rebo Zata Rabokaya. Rabo Sebra Taya. Rebo Bosaka Raya. Emma Koto Rabasaya. In the name of Jesus. Rando Robo Sakaya. Ebo Saya. Ibo Segraya, Ibo Zadeha, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Job 23 10. Job 23 10. Say, after the Lord has tried me, say, after the Lord has tried me, I shall come forth as gold. Say, I will come forth as gold. The sons of the prophet watched Elisha following, following hard. Even though he was once upon a tiny capon, but he had to humble himself. Elisha, who poured water on the hand of Elijah, said, But he knoweth the way that I think that when he had tried me. Okay, say, because the Lord.
Lord try us. The Lord can trust you with money. How many want God to trust you with some millions of dollars? Come on now, wave at me. How many want God to trust us with testimonies? How many want God to trust us with triumph? How many want God to trust us with trouble? but whatsoever oh my god what do you want what do you want are you hungry for it hallelujah are you thirsty for it say i am here say after he had tried me i will come forth as gold in the name of jesus say lord jesus i receive patience in the process i receive patience in the process help me persevere in the process help me wait in the process in the name of jesus lift your voice and pray come on let's end this well let's end this well come on now yes friends loved ones pastors bishops dickens watch wherever you find yourself in the name of jesus the devil is a liar you are not giving up you are not throwing the towel you have invested more than ever and you are not quitting in the name of jesus christ it will not end until you have won the battle my god i pray for god's goodness come on keep on keeping on in the name of jesus in the name of jesus Hallelujah. So perseverance is synonymous to patience. Patience is synonymous to waiting. And then we come through the scriptures and you realize that the Bible says in Isaiah, it says in Isaiah, um, Isaiah 40, 31, it says those who wait on the Lord, they renew their strength. They mount up. Hallelujah. Stretch your hand wherever you are. Tell your neighbor, I need some space, man. I need some space. I need some space, man. I need some space. Hallelujah. The Bible says, enlarge your curtain. Isaiah 54. Enlarge your tent. Hallelujah. For I, the Lord, my visitation is about to come to you. Hallelujah. Come and confess it wherever you are.
when you are crying in the business when you are crying concerning the children keep your eyes on the Lord behold him until you become keep your eyes on the Lord looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher of your faith behold him in patience behold him in perseverance Blessed is the one who puts his trust in the Lord. Who relies solely. Listen, listen, listen. Shiranka. Blessed is he. Come on, come on, come on. You can put some stick in this thing. Come on. Blessed is he. Blessed is he. Blessed is he. Blessed is he. Blessed I'm not looking to the left. I said, she Blessed is he. Blessed is he. Some my God, somebody is receiving a fresh fire to mount up at an Hey, wherever your feet were stuck, you are coming out. You will persevere. You will go through the process. You are coming to the place in the name of Jesus. Oh my God, people will read your report. People will read your story. People will tell of your good my God what you were and what you have become. Sira can audit. I know there is an issue at the workplace. provoked by a landlord because they have increased your rent but they don't know that they are making you become a landlord yourself hey something is happening that plot of land you will build you my god something is about to happen Shiranka, oh, oh, where are you where are you where are you where are you i said you will build Students, don't give up. Don't give up on the cause. One of my daughters, if you are watching, I remember several years ago, came to me and said, Daddy, this cause is hard. I'm giving up on this cause. I, I can't say, Fio. Fio, Ebeye. You do not know that you went to mommy. Mommy said that I, I also got to somewhere like this. And I was crying. I said, you, you will not repeat what I went through. You will do the cost. And today, she ran come on now. Come on now. The steady power. You will finish it. Your steadiness under the hand of the Lord will provide and produce a sudden success for you. Your waiting on the Lord will produce a winning for you. I prophesy unto you, your waiting will not be in vain. I said your struggle will not be in vain. You look like a fool doing the thing. You look as if you did not have vision. But God 
uses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Shiraka Odipa. Lift up your hand and begin to magnify God for graces to go through the process. The devil is a liar. 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 Magnify the Lord. Shake up the dust. Pay the price of patience, perseverance, the virtue you can't do without. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You might not know the Lord as your Lord and personal Savior. Can you pray this prayer with me? The Lord Jesus, wash me with your blood. Forgive me of all my sins, of all my doubts, of all my shadiness in the process. I ask God to come into my heart. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. I come under the power of the Holy Spirit. I come under the power of the Holy Spirit. I submit myself under the power of the Holy Spirit. Be my Lord and my personal Savior. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's prepare to bring our seed, our offerings. Take an offering. You have your tithe. You have a project seed. You are helping us root this thing. You have a project seed. You have your tithe. You have your, your first fruit. You said that this is a first door God opened unto me. And I bring the first fruit before the Lord. It's okay to do that. Some of you have given up on giving. But when you give up on giving, life is a cycle of giving and receiving. And so you have missed it. I pray your restoration. Hallelujah. Amen. As we prep ourselves, just want to remind us that come Tuesday will be our second edition of the Teams Tuesday. 5.30 here and you don't want to miss it for anything. All probable leaders and people who have in your heart of heart that you are working this vision with me. You can come around and we will share some deep thought. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. How many were here for the first, the maiden edition? Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on Tuesday. It's going to be awesome. Hallelujah. Amen. And so we bring in our special seed. We will bring in our offering before the Lord. And we pray that God's name will be glorified. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you now. Koso ba bi re, kosi ba ba bi re, koma solo rubi re.
Then answered I them and said unto them, The God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore, we his servants will arise and build. You can be a part of the banner project by sending your contributions or donations to the account details on the screen. God bless you. As carries, beloved one, it is time to build. As Nehemiah 2.20 says, Then answered I them, and said unto them, The God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore we his servants will arise and build. You can be a part of the banner project by sending your contributions or donations to the account details on the screen. God bless you. Ascaris, beloved one, it is time to build. As Nehemiah 2.20 says, Then answered I them, and said unto them, The God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore we his servants will arise and build. You can be a part of the banner project by sending your contributions or donations to the account details on the screen. God bless you. Ascaris, beloved one, it is time to build. As Nehemiah 2.20 says, Then answered I them, and said unto them, The God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore we his servants will arise and build. You can be a part of the banner project by sending your contributions or donations to the account details on the screen. God bless you. Ascaris, beloved one, it is time to build. As Nehemiah 2.20 says, Then answered I them, and said unto them, The God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore we his servants will arise and build. You can be a part of the banner project by sending your contributions or donations to the account details on the screen. God bless you. Ascaris, beloved one, it is time to build. As Nehemiah 2.20 says, Then answered I them, and said unto them, The God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore we his servants will arise and build. You can be a part of the banner project by sending your contributions or donations to the account details on the screen. God bless you. Ascaris, beloved one, it is time to build. As Nehemiah 2.20 says, Then answered I them, and said unto them, The God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore we his servants will arise and build. You can be a part of the banner project by sending your contributions or donations to the account details on the screen. God bless you. Ascaris, beloved one, it is time to build. As Nehemiah 2.20 says, Then answered I them, and said unto them, The God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore we his servants will arise 
and build. You can be a part of the banner project by sending your contributions or donations to the account details on the screen. God bless you. Ascaris, beloved one, it is time to build. As Nehemiah 2.20 says, Then answered I them and said unto them, The God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore we his servants will arise and build. You can be a part of the banner project by sending your contributions or donations to the account details on the screen. God bless you. Ascaris, beloved one, it is time to build. As Nehemiah 2.20 says, Then answered I them and said unto them, The God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore we his servants will arise and build. You can be a part of the banner project by sending your contributions or donations to the account details on the screen. God bless you. Ascaris, beloved one, it is time to build. As Nehemiah 2.20 says, Then answered I them and said unto them, The God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore we his servants will arise and build. You can be a part of the banner project 